Welcome back, fellow Unirocketeers, to the World Championship. We're wanking our way through these Swiss rounds, seeing who qualifies, separating yes. the wheat from the chaff. And I am here with Betterson McGee. What is the next game we have in store? The next game we have in store is we're going to be against Bruton Parker and St. Clair College, the Canadian team versus American team. Now we're in the realm of what we're used to when it comes to collegiate esports, not necessarily the globe-trotting international games we've had earlier in the day, but still going to be interesting. Interesting Rocket League nonetheless, and this is potentially the last match we're going to see from the Saints here today, because if they win this, they are qualified. But if they lose, then they have one more series that they have to win in order to qualify, or after that, they would have to lose it to be disqualified. But we're getting into game one right now as we see whether or not St. Clair College can triumph over Bruton Parker College. And that's already wow. going to be one on the board, and the Saints are doing a fantastic job. I'm very excited to see what more they have in store. But right off the bat, hey, this is a, this is a record for today. Three seconds, already a goal. Let's see if they can pull it off some more, huh? Let's see it. And now starting things off hot, that's what the Saints want. They like being the leading position. And Demo to start things off, you can tell they're hungry for more and more points. And oh, wow, almost a second one on the board already. Yeah, and it's, it's really, really dominant so far. The Saints are playing in their element. They're comfortable playing on North American servers as well, so I'm sure that's a benefit. You know, they don't have to worry about their inputs getting delayed or anything like that. But here we see Ben with the interception Vash passing all the way down to the empty net. But we're going to see Manny LR come out from the Ward Works in that corner to get that save. But Vesh playing cautiously off the center, tipping that back over to blue side. Christian from downtown taking that to the cross post gonna get get bounced back Ben has to keep it back over to blue Christian chasing the ball down he's gonna get the demo onto uh, Aizen and now Ben's meeting the ball over in the corner with Manny LR Christian's gonna bounce that out from the center towards blue side stopping in the corner uh, Isantics is gonna stop once again but it's gonna get shot over to the net Ben is going to get that ball passed over his head, Vesh rather, and he's going to keep chasing that one down. Christian and the team are taking another shot, but it's going to get saved up by Manny LRs. Fantastic play from both teams so far. Fantastic play all around. And now it looks like they're making a blitz of their own. They need to try and even the score. And soon you don't want to let your opponent be that much in the lead for that long. But no, they just about missed. But the defense from the Saints is just too strong. And now they're back in the swing of things. Swinging back and forth like a chandelier. And they're getting as high as one, two when they fly up the sides of the walls. And now we're going to see Milk. We're going to focus on him for a little bit here. First time I'm really paying attention to this play. And it seems he's playing a little bit more passively, just setting the ball up for his team as now Ben is stealing that ball away, cradling it towards the corner, hitting the ground. Vesh coming around, stealing it like a thief in the night. Ben meeting it back into the orange right corner as Milk chases it down and passing it up, centering it. Milk trying to take control, but Christian's going to come out with the save and stealing it and clearing it. He is the all-star savior. Ben chasing still. Vesh going for the shot, going to get saved by Manny LR. Ben tries to keep it over, but it's going to get stolen away once again. Vesh and Christian playing defense. Yeah, they're playing the defense here. Now it's all up in the air right now. Let's see what Vesh can do here. He needs to try and clear this out for his team. Playing on the defense, weaves it past Manny LR, weaves it past again, but now it gets loses the 50. Now it's back on the Saints side. They are a point up, but it's only a matter of time with how aggressive Bruton Parker is being right now, need to get it over to the blue side. And that's what they did. Now Milk trying to clear this one out once again, but now the Saints taking a little bit slower, playing a little bit more consistently. You need to tr be very careful. You can't overcommit here. You have the lead. You want to try and secure a little bit of a bigger one. And now flying through the air, going for a crazy shot. Christian gets the clear, but just barely. Now Ben going for a setup of his own. Vesh. Trying to find a setup for his team there off the wall in front of it. Christian just couldn't hit it straight. And now it's back up in that corner. It's very back and forth this time. The Saints still in a very strong lead. But you got to have a feeling maybe it's only a matter of time before Bruton Parker College finds something here. But I feel it brewing. <laughs> that's what are they brewing up as well? <laughs> I think question. they're brewing up a score here. Honestly, just uh, I hate to admit it. Despite that first uh, shot, 
at the start of the game that the Saints kind of found uh, off the kickoff, I feel like Bruton and Parker have really been playing super strong against the Saints offense, and that's no small feat. All the defensives, um, defensive plays they've been making, the saves they've been having, it's really impressive what they've been able to accomplish, but hey, Christian really surprising us there. I was not expecting the Saints to be able to find another game in this game, honestly, but hey, Pulling out a surprise one, 2-0 so far, one on the clock. But Bruton Parker, like I said, they're kind of building up the momentum right now. I want to see how they can turn this into a favorable um, exchange and maybe tie things up before we go to an overtime. Exactly. Yeah, the potential to turn this one around on a dime. But speaking of dimes, it looks like Saints are looking to cash in right here. It's 2-0, nice. 40 seconds remaining. It's not impossible for Bruton Parker College, but it's going to be very, very tough. I think Vesh eyeing this ball like a hawk waiting for the setup waiting for the signal to dive in many lr going on a full-on fling here through the sky looking for this ball looking for the slam 30 seconds remaining milk gonna be the one going on the offense trying to set something up for his team but you don't have all too much time to set up you're just trying to gotta go for these shots messy as they may be you just have to go for whatever you can take but now it looks like the saints are about to take an even further Ooh. lead here beautiful stop by manny but just barely that required like a degree in physics to be able to predict and execute. So uh, Bruton Parker must be giving an excellent education for their players to be able to make plays like that. But a close one there at the end of the round. Game one, going the way of St. Care College. Uh, again, uh, they were able to pull off some really impressive stuff at that start of that game. And I was honestly expecting Bruton Parker to steal that game away, but they were able to play at 100%, but still far from over. Bruton Parker, like I said, they're pulling off some really impressive stuff. And that last save, no small part of that. You know, they, they have a really immaculate defense. The Saints have just been able to kind of sneak a couple things in here and there. I feel like if they kind of patch up those and maybe play a little bit more aggressively to prevent the Saints from feeling comfortable taking those kinds of risks, which is a part of the fact, you know, they had that game lead or that first shot lead. So they're going to feel a little bit more comfortable taking some more risks, whereas if they were down some points, then they might have been a little bit more risk adverse. But still, I feel like with... Uh, Going to the next game, 0-0, zero, zero, I feel like Bruton Park is going to be able to play a little bit more comfortably, and the Saints won't be able to play as aggressively as they were in this first one. Exactly. I have to agree with you wholeheartedly there. If they did not Naturally. get that first leading goal, I do not think this game would have went this way. Mm -hmm. Saints need that little barrier, the little security to really let loose of those uh, training weights, you know, the things holding them back mm -hmm. to really perform it's at balanced. their best, you know, because if they're playing at 0-0 or a 1-1 tie score, it's always such a stressful moment for them. Mm-hmm. And uh, with that being said, we're already seeing the demo coming up from Christian. Really well played so far. Ben clashing on the wall. Going straight down, taking it towards the net. Really aggressive. Maybe I was wrong a little bit about that aggression. And we're going to see its antics. Try to maintain a strong defense. Christian and Vesh playing together in the center. Trying to make a shot happen. Vesh now coming out from blue side, trying to meet the ball into the middle. Ben catching it in the air as it heads towards orange side. Vesh following it up, taking it out of the corner, but it's Antics taking it right back. Christian flying over his roof to steal the ball. Milk meeting the ball in the air, taking it over to orange corner once again. Christian stealing that one out, and Manny LR from the skies. He is going to find that ball in the air, send it bouncing down, and that's going to be a classic shot. Christian, unfortunately, kind of set up a perfect one for him there, but uh, nobody able to work that one out because you need to go for a pinch shot or let it bounce. It's a 50-50 situation there, and there's no right play to make. Saints not able to defend that one. And like I said, Bruton Parker really showing what they're made of and kind of uh, meeting my expectations from what we were seeing in that first game. Unfortunately, they were able to lose that one, but the Saints... Uh, they have to set things up a little bit if they want to have a chance here. Yeah, Bruton Parker going for a slow and steady approach here. Trying to play very technical, very tricky at these slower speeds. But wow, you don't need that when Christian is a bullet soaring across the sky, getting these insane bank shots. I mean, look at that. Absolutely amazing. Off the top, man, he tried to get it, but it kind of just dribbled in at that point. A prodigy, truly a prodigy. Uh, really well played coming out from both of these teams so far. But once again, St. Clair College. Uh, I feel like 
they really have to take the time to analyze after this game, whether or not they win or lose this game, I really think they would benefit from taking the time to analyze the strategies that Breen Parker are employing and figure out exactly how they can exploit them. Because right now, I feel like whatever plans Breen Parker is having, they are able to execute it. It's just that the Saints' uh, aggression is preventing them from even getting possession and making things happen in any way. So. I feel like if Bruton Parker starts getting more possession, getting more control of the ball, the Saints are going to start having some trouble. They just need to make sure they don't let that happen. And we already see Ben uh, coming down from the skies, taking the ball out of the corner towards the center. Vesh going to get bumped out of the way, unfortunately. No play is going to be able to be made. Christian's going to get beaten out there. Oh, he and Vesh both missing that shot there to get the rebound. Ben... He's going to make another life-saving play, but the shot coming out. Ben with another beautiful save, keeping the ball out of the net. Milk maintaining this relentless assault, and Vesh not going to be able to get that save. It's going to go over. No one's going to be able to help him out. And now, Bruton Parker, like I said, playing that slow and steady game, able to control the ball, manipulate it so perfectly, the Saints just don't have an answer, and that's going to be another goal on the board for Bruton Parker College. You just know how to manipulate the Saints' positioning. I mean, that was just slowly waiting for the chance making these intentional openings things for the Saints have that the Saints had to save but geez it's looking really rough right now for the Saints I mean look at that they're just totally in control of the game right now it's not unwinnable they're only one point away from tying things up but they're certainly not in the lead right now but within that open Ben tried to go for something but unfortunately got demoed not looking the right way now Christian I think the Saints are adopting a little bit more of that slow and steady play style. Wanting to be a little bit more calculated, and it pays off. You saw there, Saints were kind of prowling around, stalking their prey. They weren't chasing it down until they pounced. The ball was in the position, they pounced on it. You don't want to be rushing it down unnecessarily because that opens you up to risk and makes it honestly sometimes easier to save because if you're going from halfway across the field and you take a sniper shot, the ball's trajectory is not going to change. But when it's slow floating right in front of the net, there's all kinds of different angles you could go for for approach you could even fake it out and have one of your teammates finish a shot for you but a beautiful shot coming up from Vash and an even more beautiful save that one is one of those difficult shots that you just really have to be on your a game to defend against and hey looks like he is on his s class game because that was supreme of a defense and the saints are looking to make that oh. even more dangerous <laughs> manny lr disappointing all of the saints fans there thinking that they're gonna get a shot in fact, oh man, almost a goal for Bruton Parker instead. Saints, Christian passing it up towards Ben off the crossbar, trying to tap it back in. I don't know if he made contact, but still, it's going to find its way out of the blue side. Christian and the rest of the Saints playing defensively, trying to get that ball out of the danger zone. I think they need to send one more on defense if they don't want to get scored on here. That's exactly what they're going to do. And they have Vesh, but Milk in the perfect spot to bounce the ball back. It's going to get saved out by the Saints once again. Oh, over to the center, over to the corner, off the cross post. It's Antics, going to get the interception, prevent a shot from coming out. One minute remaining, 2-2 two to two on the board. The Saints are desperate for something, but Milk is going to find the goal from halfway across the field. The Saints are not ready to defend it. The Saints were not ready, and with a minute left, things are looking dire. That's not a lot of time to save things here. It's not impossible, but they're going to have to throw all caution to the wind and try and go for an all-out attack. They need to get something like that, a kickoff on their side. Winning the kickoff, it's going to be the Saints. They have the pressure mounting, and they need that. There's only a minute left on the clock. If this clear goes through, it's going to be disastrous, but they're still keeping up the pressure. They need one good, clean goal here. The Saints... They need it. They want to get the clean sweep. They don't want to make this go one to one in this series and drag this one out. But oh no, already Bruton Parker unrelenting is going to keep scoring these goals almost. But they're going to keep taking pot shots at their goal and forcing the Saints to go on the defense when they don't have time. They don't have time to do this. They need to go on the offense. We're running out of time here, folks. They need this. They need this now more than ever. They're so close to qualifying and they just might as it's 3-2-3 three, three, with 12 seconds left on the clock. Very
very beautiful play coming up from the Saints. Christian, the Lord and Savior of this team, consistently time and time again, finding the opportunities and turning water into wine, making the so sweet of the chances the Saints are given, always finding them in the end. But it's not over yet. Five seconds on the clock. The ball has to hit the ground before it goes to an overtime, but it might find a net before it does not gonna happen today. We're going to our first overtime of the series, second overtime of the day. St. Clair College versus Bruton Park College, 3-3. Three to three. The trend has been, Bruton Park gets a goal, Saints find an answer, but if the Saints want to win this one, they Whoa! Are and Fish does not take no for an answer, running it down straight to the net. Not even gonna have to do anything too crazy, swishing it around. Christian playing offense in the net as well, clearing a clean clear path to victory for the Saints. Absolutely brilliant last 30 seconds it seems from the Saints yeah. bringing it to a clutch overtime into a very quick overtime as well mm -hmm. and now they are just one game away from qualification here. Absolutely amazing Ooh. showing just a little bit more. It's the home stretch here. Just one more in Bruton Parker College with how close these games are with how dominant they were in that game up until the end. You gotta be sweating a little bit. You gotta be taking a little bit of yeah. psychic damage. Perspiration is natural <laughs> in a situation of high intensity. So I'm sure they might be sweating a little bit. This is an intense situation. Even for the Saints right now, they're one game away from winning, and that can add a lot of pressure, and pressure can allow you to falter, hesitate, make things that you would otherwise execute perfectly into very, very blunderous mistakes. Now, the Saints, are not amateurs, however. They have been in these situations many, many times before, but still, it never gets easier to deal with these kinds of situations. So, Bruden Parker, even though their back is against the wall, I really feel like they have the advantage going into this next game. They have a clear mind. They know, you know, we might have to play another series after this. So the worst case, they're coming to this with a open mind, ready to learn, ready to adapt, whereas the Saints are playing to win, and that can really mess with your confidence. So Bruden Parker, they are playing this to understand where the Saints, they are expecting results. I wanna see what either team's gonna be able to cook up here, but Bruden Parker is looking really good right now. It could take it to our first uh, not clean sweep for today. Exactly, I gotta say though, I think Saints have a little bit more motivation here. Bruton Parker. Parker. They're still going to be in this if they lose. Sure, you're going to have that threat looming, which you don't want. But if Saints manage to win this one out, they will be qualified. And I think that want of winning is stronger than their fear of losing. For sure. And I think that's a sign of any true team. You want to play to win. You never want to be playing not to lose. And that's the difference between being in the winner's bracket versus the loser's bracket. You feel a lot more comfortable and you feel like a winner. But wow, it's Antics is the winner today. Getting a save. That was a beautiful one. That was a just flying straight in. This, the shots that are not on the ground are the most scary ones to go for. But wow. then, and Vesh with the demo to prevent the counter follow-up shot, but it's Antics. Christian! Christian is saving the day once again. And Vesh is taking this all the way to blue side, keeping it over. The follow-up from Vesh not going to be made. Christian stopping it from going back to orange side. And now he's over on blue. Ben's all the way in the back, getting ready to get the clear, hitting the side of his car. But no, they're keeping it over. Vesh is in the net already though Christian Smoots and Ben they're all playing at 100% they want to make sure they take this one all the way home sending this one to the corner now meeting it in the air Ben sending this flying towards the net off the post going for the shots just gonna miss Christian not gonna get there in time it's gonna get intercepted it's gonna get stolen it's gonna get whatever you want to call it Vesh has to clean up the mess it's not gonna get found though Ben still trying to recover trying to find control Christian setting it up maybe but it's antics getting the save tipping it out, Ben off oh. the side, getting it slowed down. Vesh is not going to be in a perfect position to get that one stolen out, though. Three minutes on the clock, no goals yet. This is uncharacteristic for both of these teams. What's going on here? I have no idea. It's all chaos here. It's all even on the scoreboard. No one's there on the net for the Saints to get a mad dash right back, Woo! and he barely <laughs> saves it just in time. And now they have a mad dash no back. And it's clear, and Vesh gets the goal. And after so long, half of the match, no goals is finally broken by the Saints themselves. Besh being the lone warrior, making the trek across no man's land and saving the day for the Saints and securing them that much-needed goal. Now, 
That was just one point. <laughs> In the end, <laughs> there's still two minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, no! I, I was just saying it! You know, all of that for a drop of blood. But then, one second later, Bruton Parker finds another. This is close Rocket League. Close Rocket League is very different from wide skill gap Rocket League. You cannot ever expect anything. And I feel like Bruton Parker has been giving us that lesson time and time again. After that, they find another one. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, two to one in game three. St. Clair College are fighting for this tie. Can they bring it back? Maybe they got complacent, maybe they got cocky, but hopefully this is the wake up call that they might need to stay on their A game. So they need to wake up and they need to start moving as soon as they can. Two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. We're only halfway through this. The Saints need to start cleaning up their act and now they're scraping by by the seat of their pants, but that's not good enough anymore. After two back-to-back -back goals, you need to start waking up here and finding these openings. And there's an opening right now. Beshi is moving forwards off the ceiling. Milk is going back for the defense. Many long range. Gonna <laughs> stop that one from the long range here. Ben gonna find that one mid-air. The demo comes out from Milk. There's an opening. He passes it back to Milk. All three. The triple commit is coming through. Going slow but steady. Ben. A tough one to de and defend. The ben does it. Christian gets a demo. Now there's an opening, but they gotta clear it out first. Ben with the demo and the bump to save the ball and being the 50 to get the save. An incredible player. This one's going straight for the cross post, but Vesh does not want it to go there. It's so favorable. Ben in the center, getting ready for anything. Keeping the ball over on blue side is their top priority. It's their top priority. Now Ben, not a lot of boost left in the tank. Not going to be able to barely just make it. And now we're going back to just back and forth. Bruton Parker likes this. They like the back and forth. They're sitting pretty. They just got to play defense. Just don't let one ball slip through. How hard could that be? But the Saints make it a little bit difficult right now, but still, look at that. They just have a really good defense, especially with Zantic and Milk getting two demos. It's going to be Christian fighting for his life here. It's very, very risky. Yeah, risky indeed. Two to one, one minute on the clock. Ben getting that pop up. It's flying, it's soaring. Ben side tapping it, slow roller, bringing it up, tapping it up, letting Vesh find the control he needs, but it's Antic coming from behind, stopping that ball in his track, preventing it from following its course. Now, Ben meeting the ball in the center, taking it to the skies once again, cradling it. I feel like once this ball leaves blue side, that's it, that's the game, and it's finding its way back to orange. Vesh is going to steal that away, doesn't hit the ground, sending it right back over to blue. Vesh chasing on a breakaway, but it's Antic is there to stop it. Ben slow rolling off the top towards the center. Christian meeting in disguise. Can someone go for the shot? But no, Milk is going to find it. Let's take it out. Vesh now. It's going to go over his head and it's going to go towards their net. Eight seconds on the clock. Saints are looking to have lost the control of this game. But they still have those two under their belt, getting a little bit more confidence. And I hope that this game can serve as a wake-up call for them that Bruton Parker College is not to be trifled with. It's not over yet. They're keeping the dream alive, but just barely. It's going to end right there. But still, it is two to one. It's not over yet. The Saints still have a very solid lead. If they can just find any foothold here, any lead, really, I think if they can carry themselves to victory. That's just very unfortunate that they lost that lead instantly mm. not that's only what we get for cheering yes yeah, sorry guys i'm sorry i'm excited i'll never cheer for the saints again if that's what you'd like to hear at home that's a lie i will always cheer for the saints i'm wearing this the jacket <laughs> for god's sake okay but after that play especially it's hard not to lose your mind a little bit really uh that play all those plays all those moments and then you know all of that for the drop of blood perfect line by the way stole yeah. that and it was really 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 well played all around two to one you love score margins like this but saints i hope they know what they're doing coming into the next game because bruton parker made them look like they didn't exactly they did they looked nothing like the first two games they looked absolutely dominant absolutely in control saints though they did have a deadlock in the beginning the saints just need to get that energy that won them those first two games back in them now Vesh going for a big straightforward shot. A demo just came a little bit too little too late, unfortunately. And the net's wide open. Someone does not get the clear. And Milk getting a goal 30 seconds in is going to be absolutely disastrous. 
absolutely disastrous is probably the best way to put it. The Saints must be feeling like they took a gut punch to this their, their, their team's collective stomach. But Christian has to try his best to keep himself in the game with his team. Ben passing back over to the corner. Vesh waiting on the backside of Orange. Going to meet in the corner. Not even going to let it touch the ground just yet. Meeting it as it bounces now. Christian from behind is trying to launch that forward, but it's going to get stuffed. Ben now trying to meet this one in the skies. Taking it over to the cross post. Going to get intercepted from behind. Pass over to the corner. A shot's going to be made. It's going to hit the post once again. Taking it over to the next corner on the other side. Ben now intercepting it as it tries to leave. Meeting it up the wall. Sending it back over but that's going to be a perfect clear opportunity for Milk as Christian waits for it on orange side, receiving it. Vesh trying to make a counter play, but Milk is going to pass it right back over. Christian is going to miss the reception, but Milk trying to keep it slow and in front of the net. It's going to get bounced away by Christian, but still fighting for his life, trying to keep himself alive and in this game. Vesh meeting it in disguise once more. Milk shooting this one further back into the net, but now Christian meeting that one up. Sending it over to the corner once again on blue side. Ben launching it from middle field, keeping it in the corner in disguise. Now, can they keep it here? No siree. Bruton Parker Call is doing such a great job of answering the Saints offense. Three minutes, 20 seconds left. Yeah, do an amazing job at answering right back and forth. The Saints need one. They need one soon. They're still down one. You know, just getting that first goal in the first 30 seconds is absolutely disastrous because Every time you get close to tying it up, you feel <laughs> like even worse. Because even if you do get it, it's just tie. You're not mm -hmm. in the lead. You don't get really gain anything other than escaping. Unless you're Bruton Parker, where they, every time they've tied, they got a second goal. Like, exactly. Right after. <laughs> so Bruton Parker looking very, very good so far. Vash and Christian cooking up something here on the attack for an interesting play. Maybe squeaking it by Manny. Could not get the dunk though. Just barely missing it by a hair. Absolutely disastrous. And now we're seeing Bruton Parker look a little bit wary. Her defense isn't as strong as it used to be. Man, now's the chance, but you have to be perfect against Bruton Parker. You can't make these sloppy missteps like we've been seeing twice there. I know it's a hard game. It's technically difficult, but you know, definitely tell these players are starting to get gassed with how mm -hmm. long these days are you only have so much energy in the tank yeah and they, it looks like they're running out here the saints uh, it feels like they're tired watching them play christian bringing some energy back though from cross field not going to be able to find that towards the net however ben keeping this out of orange side milk running down to receive it. It's Antics gonna have the honors though. A nice demo trade coming out. Christian respawning back on orange side. Ben faking out that tap. Christian missing it. Ben gonna get that side touch. Gonna bounce and collide in the air. It's still 1.30 on the clock. Saints have yet to find the goal. And honestly, it feels like they haven't even been able to find any solid shots yet. They've had shots, but none that I think any of them were really expecting to go in. They were pretty gimme saves. And if, uh, if Bruden Parker wins this game off of just a single point, I feel like the Saints might not have the mental to carry on to the next game. Christian with the demo, trying to give himself some wiggle room. Vesh going for the 50 and a goal! They find it! Again, these shots that no one's really expecting to go in, they find their way, but Bruton Parker's goals versus the Saints, they feel completely different. And you need Bruton Parker goals if you want to guarantee victory, whereas the Saints ones, those are a little, they're scrappy. Uh, that, yeah, they're scrappy. And you want to be able to scrap, but you also want to be able to plan and coordinate. And exactly. I feel like right now their planning and their coordination hasn't been going their way in this series as well as it usually does for the Saints. But Bruton Parker showing they have it in spades. So we have one minute on the clock left. Can either team find a goal? And that's going to be Bruton Parker taking this one two to one. Once again, the Saints need to find an answer in 50 seconds to tie this up. Yeah, they got to find an answer. And when it takes you, three minutes to scrounge up one answer the second one doesn't look too close either there's 50 seconds left on the clock here Bruton Park College just finding an answer every single time but so are the Saints Whoa! it's two to two out of nowhere Vesh finds the kickoff goal securing ourselves a tie game once again Vesh I love you just had to make that clear just had to make that very clear, but this is still 
50 seconds on the clock, more or less. Not much has changed. 2-2, two to two, and it's still tied. Either team can take this one, and if it does go to an overtime, that's still super duper anybody's game. Christian passing up. Ben with a beautiful shot! Super coordinated! I take back every word I just said about the Saints not being able to coordinate and get their shots and their plans done. They... I feel like they wrote that shot down <laughs> 10 years ago and made it happen right now. Premonition perfectly planned, coordinated. The Oracle spoke now, and it had to happen. Does Boone Parker get the kickoff goal once again? They've done it time and time. Can the Saints finally have a defense here to keep themselves in the lead? 30 seconds remain on the clock. Vesh is carrying this one down, but you can tell Boone Parker is circling like sharks around the boat, dun, dun. waiting for anyone dun, dun. to make dun. a single slip up. Dun, dun, but dun, now dun, dun, they're going to be sharks dun, dun, of their own. They're taking you know, the harpoons are trying to guard themselves on these open waters, these stormy seas. There's a storm brewing, and I cannot wait for it to be unleashed in these last eight seconds. The time is ticking. The Saints just Someone need to hold on it. for three more seconds. Ball bounces. It's up in the air. The last second has counted. It just needs to touch the ground, and the Saints will have qualified for the Uno Rocketeers they World Championship. It. They are in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. The St. Clair College Rocket League team have done not the impossible but it felt pretty impossible especially after that last game in the beginning of this one very impressive very well played very close game you can't ask for anything more of Rocket League little bit short of an overtime that's all you could ask for more of but without it going to an overtime that's really I feel like <laughs> as close as Rocket League can get Exactly. That was an absolutely amazing last series. You know, it had the high highs, the low lows, everything you could possibly want in between. I mean, there's no better way to end it. Absolutely. And speaking of end it, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for us today. Since the Saints have qualified, they're not playing any more games until tomorrow, which you can find, I believe, on the Uni Rocketeers channel. We won't be covering that, but they absolutely will be. So if you want to cheer on the Saints even more, go ahead and catch that stream while it's going on. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it from us today as we have screamed more times than you can reasonably <laughs> ask for anybody to. So we're going to take a well-deserved break. Yeah. But before we do that, we got to say thank you. Exactly. Thank you to everybody in the back. It's going to be Tommy and Amanda holding everything down, making sure everything works, and also coordinating with all the teams to make sure we get these games mm -hmm. in on time. Thank you to our sponsors, Tim Horton, Subway, HyperX, St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. And thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. I don't think we encourage people to do it enough, but hey, subscribe. You got some emotes. You get some cool stuff. <laughs> no more ads. You guys love complaining about ads whenever they happen. Use subscribe. Twitch Prime. Yeah, exactly. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that all being said, thank you very much for tuning in. We hope to catch you next time we're live, which might not be until September. But hey, <laughs> you know what? That's when we're going to be most active anyways. But until then, if it's not, if we don't see you guys until September, then... Uh, I guess we'll see you then. We'll but in any case, then. take care. Have a fantastic night. I know I will.